guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my July favourites for you all. I can't believe how fast the month has gone, but I'm not even going to bother rambling. I only have a few products to show you this month, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first product that I want to show you is the Anastasia of Bo Anastasia of Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is what it looks like on the outside, and then on the inside it's absolutely divine. Like, can we just take a minute? Like, it looks very, very, like, dramatic and very, very intense, but you can also create very, very natural, very subtle looks with it. I did use it today to create this eye, and I don't feel like it's over the top whatsoever, but you can definitely get something very, very like full of color if you really wanted to. This love letter shade is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I did post a picture of this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on there, it's just the happy Laura. And yeah, I share a lot of pictures on there. Okay, so I've been obsessed with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the illuminating version. I do have a review coming up of this very, very soon on my channel, so I won't ramble on about it for too much longer. But definitely subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up to date with that review. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was actually the Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. I love it so much. I love every single shade in this palette. I just haven't really played all that much with this shade, but every other color in this palette I absolutely adore. If you can get your hands on this palette, I do think it's quite good value for money. In Australia, this is just under $90, but you are getting five powders, so I do think it's quite worth the money because they are very, very good quality. For the brows, I'm kicking it old school. I've been obsessed with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I fluctuate between dark brown and medium brown, but at the moment I'm using dark brown and I really, really, really do like it. For under the eyes, I haven't been using a corrector for a hot minute, so I decided to pull out my Bowie Brown Corrector in the shade Peach, and I've been using it every, like, every day this month that I've been wearing makeup. Like, can you see? I have, like, almost none left. It's amazing. I really, really like it. I swear by it. I just stopped using it for a little while. I don't really know why, to be honest, but it's a very, very good corrector if you're in the market for one. For lashes, I haven't really found any new lashes that I love, but I have found a new lash glue. This one is the Model Rock Waterproof Eyelash Adhesive in the Clear Latex Free Kind. Love it. It doesn't take long to dry at all like Duo. I'm waiting forever. This, I don't have that weight issue. Love it, love it, love it. I just don't like the packaging. It gets a little bit rank, but that's okay. For the lips, two products. This is the Clarins Instant Light Perfecta in the shade 06. Love this as just like a gloss if I don't want anything too pigmented on the lips. It does have a little bit of a tint, but nothing over the top, and it's so ridiculously moisturizing. Really, really love this, especially for the winter months where everything's just a lot colder and a lot more dry. And lucky last, I have a lipstick from Smashbox. I've been staring away from liquid lipsticks just because it has been a lot colder recently. But this one is what I actually have on my lips right now. It's the Smashbox lipstick in the shade Stylish Matte. It's just the most beautiful, like, Kylie Jenner, like... 2015 shade, like that Moivy Rose shade. I really, really like it. It's very, very creamy. It's not drying at all. I would say it's more of a satin texture more than anything else. And yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely shade. Okay, guys, so that is actually all my favorites that I have for the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It seriously helps me out so much. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. They're both just the happy Laura. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.